Good afternoon. Welcome back to, um, where am I? Oh, I heart with Tony in the stable studio. Um, this afternoon, guys, we're going to be uh, doing a little spindle work, like a new beard. Maybe not. I'm not so sure about that. I've got some good friends in to give me a hand today. So I'll just bring them on screen and let you see who we've got. Today we have, top right, Mark the Gentleman Wood Tunner. Hi everyone. Bottom, bottom right, we have Terry from TV. Hello, everybody. Hi. And the ever lovely Joe. From oh, Joe. Okay. everybody. Thank you very much for coming in to uh, assist me, guys. I'll just pop his back in the background. There we go. So today, guys, we're going to do a little spindle turning, and I think I'm going to make a little box. So this is the piece of wood we're going to use. It is a piece of sweet chestnut. I know this because it's written on the end. Not because I can identify it. So if I just uh, get that stuck on the lathe, Matt will tell you, Mark will tell you who's, uh, who's in the chat. Uh, and then, oh, wait, just hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait, let's see, just change this camera to there. If it'll work. Oh, there we go, guys. Little box. Sweet chestnut. We're done. That was quick. Right. See you all next Thursday then. <laughs> See you all next Thursday. Bye. Yeah. Let's uh, let's put this back on the overhead. Oh no, here it goes again. Oh no, I'll see. That's, <laughs> That's what you get for messing about. Right. Here we go, guys. There we go. Look, so here we go. We'll put this on the left. Mark, you can let us know who's in. Yep. Right, so we've got Barry's Wick Creations, Brent B. Croft, some dodgy fellow called Brian. Clive Rogerson, Copper Owl Wood Turning, David Deadman, Doug Miller at Wood Spun Round, Duncan the Curly Turner, Gav Sadei Woodwork, Chris Dodds, Gerald the French Turner, Lawrence Pagaja, Paul Finley Wood Turning at Home, Robert Robertson, Ruby Clare, uh, Robert Dolman, Steve Fleming, Terry Bartlett, Tommy's Wood Workshop, Wayne Wood Turner, Wivey Woodshed and we're turning by Barry. There are lots of people in today. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for coming in to see poor old me. Also, all spider's over the head. Sorry, all spider's over the world. Yep. So, I'm just going to put a 10 on either end of this, guys, quickly. Flatten off the ends and put a 10 on. So, I'm just going to use my um, beating and button tool. Done a lay on at. 500 revs because that's as slow as it goes on the middle belt. Screw the speed up a bit. Safety goggles on. And off we go. So I'll just screw up this end first. Don't and forget anybody if you if you have any right. questions please put a question mark before your question. So the 10 on my uh, on my jaws, I need about the width of this tool plus about half of it. And that lets, gives me the right size of tan. And I've got my uh, calipers preset. So if I go to this camera, I'm just going to hook the calipers over the end so they're running on the tannin. Engage the tool, and I'm pulling upwards with my left hand. As soon as it gets to the right size, that'll fall off. I'll do the same on the other end, just to let you see. So I'll just tidy up this a little bit. Now, you'll notice that I was leaning over the lathe that time, but my elbow was high up in the air, so I'm not in any danger of getting caught up. Let's go to the other end, do the same thing. That was a really good shot of showing how to do that, actually. Mm. I said we don't get caught up not wearing that shirt. I think. <coughs> Flags of all nations. Well, not all John nations, but quite a few of them. John S. Castings joined. Hi, John. Paul Finley Wood turning yes. a firmer joint. Good afternoon. Hi, Paul. Paul's a local <laughs> wood turner from uh, Northern Ireland here. Gav Sade Woodworks asked, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Mark. 
podcast today is asking, has anyone done a pepper mill before? Or can they recommend a good video to watch to get the basics? I, I haven't um, done one. Thanks, <coughs> Minister. Uh, we're turning Colwyn White did a, did a pepper mill. Yeah. That is a good video. So Dale from again, Maple guys. In. Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale. Hi, Dale. So we'll do the same thing again on this side. It's not as easy for you to see. It's the simplest way to get your uh, to get your tenon to the right size. Nice square. Now, one thing Gav. you've got to make sure of when you're when you go and try and do that, that you've got the ends of your caliper nicely rounded. So when you first get them, they'll have a point on them. Take the fire to them and round the end off so they will run on the timber rather than catch. Safety point. No. Greg Alexander's in. Hi, Greg. Good morning, Greg. Good afternoon, Greg. Maybe it's morning where he is, of course. Where's Greg <laughs> from, I wonder. <clears throat> so now uh, this is this where the design opportunity takes place. This piece of wood, I'll do it in inches because I prefer inches. It's five and a five and a bit. Nearly five, five and a half. Five and a bit. Inches. Yeah, but five I'm going to try and do bit. it in thirds. That's five and a bit. That's, that's close enough, is it not? It's, yeah. it's, this, this is a country job, guys. It's not engineering. It's a country job. So I'm just going to kind of guess it. So one third, two thirds, basically. Somewhere about that. So let's just have a quick look. About a third there. But what I want to do is leave a little bit extra so it's slightly more than a third, and I'll explain why in a second. Let's run that up. And then I'm going to put a little bit there for cutting off, and then a little bit there for parting off. So that's going to be the size of the piece. The reason this bit is slightly bigger is because we're going to turn a little, we're going to turn a little, can I get around the right way? That way. We're going to turn this little funny out the same piece. Okay, that's why that's a little bit bigger. Benjamin so Anders. Robert Coleman, <laughs> Benjamin, Steve Ellis. They've all joined yeah, me and Leonard. Leonard. Wow. Good afternoon, guys. Good so afternoon. I'm just going to use my thin parting tool. It's parting tool from Record Power. Um, and I'll use that to, to cut this in half. Now, um, as I cut in here, rather than making a relief cut, I'm just going to wiggle the handle. Well, we can see that okay. Yeah. And that'll make its own little relief cut. I'm not going to go too far. What the ne next thing I'm going to do is pop this light underneath. Now, you guys will not see this, but I can see it. That's the important bit. So put, put the light in so that I can see how much I've got left to cut. Because I don't want to cut it all the way through. Charlie Taylor, Taylor's just joined. Hi, Charlie. Whoops. Brian just got a little catch there and jumped it out of the step center. So we'll just remount that. Put that back in there. Put that back in there. Greg Alexander, by the way, is from Kentucky, so it's good morning. Oh, I wiggled it too much. <coughs> is that going to be running true? No. Might be a job getting this bike in the right place. Hmm. Not to worry. I think that's the right place. Should be good enough, I think. Just make sure that's good and tight again. Turn it down, make it go slower. See if you can recover this. Yeah, it's okay. That's, that's close enough. And we'll just give that a little cut. Need a bit more speed than that though, Brian. And I can see now where I want to go, that's fine. And we'll use the pull saw to finish that job off. I'll just grab that, guys. It's a bit hanging up on the wall over here. Little uh, little Japanese pool, so it's huge. <laughs> uh, this is a, this is a 
a park side special. It's got a little uh, fine teeth one on, on one side. That's a pull saw, and on the other side, it's a push saw. I recognise that saw. I've got one of those. I think you might have. Now, I'm just slacking off the tailstock. Oh, can't do that. I've slanged it off too far. <laughs> slanging it off too far. Put it back in there. There we go, that's better. Oh, wrong way around. I slang it off so it won't pinch, but I slang it off too far. There we go, that's it done. Slide that out of the way. Pop that off. Yeah, now, we'll uh, set that there, get rid of the saw. And we are going to mount the base into my chuck. I would if I could find the key for the chuck. Right, Mark, what do you do with the key for the chuck? It's beside you. It's not hanging up on the wall where it should be. Ooh, look for the label. This look is the, label. the, <laughs> the, the label's key. missing. Ah, <coughs> oh, jeez, I've lost the chuck key, guys. This could be a serious problem. Where was I when I had the chuck key last? Standing by the chuck. <laughs> Check the have you in your pocket, have you? No pockets. No pockets in this smock, thankfully. Can't be blamed for that. Pocket. Is it in one of the drawers? No. Sin repurposing is in. Good evening, afternoon. It could Good well evening, be sin. just let me check <coughs> over here. Which one Paul's in? Hi, Paul. Aha! It's Hi, Paul. It's in the wrong place. That's what's wrong. See. Some, some, some half wit. Put it in a drawer, which is which says drive and life centers. How did that happen? I wonder which half. Of, I wonder which half of that was. <laughs> says repurposing. Does anybody else lose stuff in their uh, in their workshops? No, no, no. Never. No. Oh, well, that's all right. It's only all me there. The time. <laughs> Sometimes, I Sometimes I lose in. things. Sometimes I lose things. Bye, Richard. I right, find it four Ian, months Ian later. In the I've got bought a new one. Afternoon, all. Are you? In? Don't talk over each other, guys. That's not very nice. <laughs> 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 so I've got this mountain between centers again. So it's in the chuck, and then sorry, it's, it's held in the chuck, and it's, I've still got the step center on, just to give a little bit of support. So what I'm going to do is give this a little bit of shape on the outside before I start the hollow process. So we'll just set this up. We're going to use a little spindle gauge. To uh, tool this a bit high. Yeah, I'm doing a bit. There we go. A little bit of uh, and basically what I want to do is round this end over, round that end over, and put a little cove in the middle. That's all I'm going to do. Not rocket science. So a little cove here. So that simply rounds that end over. And I've got my space there for, for uh, cutting off, parting off. But you see what I'm doing here? I'm just starting the chisel, lift the handle to pick up the cut, roll it over to uh, clockwise with my wrist, and then rotate my, and shift my weight from my left foot to my right foot. Simple as that. Douglas Mungham's in. Hi, Douglas. Nice. It's just a nice little cut. I now, I want, to take, I want to give it a little bit of a waste. I'll show you what that looks like. So I want to give it a little bit of a waste. So just basically is make a cove. So we'll start in the middle. Now we'll just take little bits out at a time. I don't want to give it too much of a waste. Now, I'm going to work myself back from here all the way back to this edge. So just take a little bit off a time, cutting downhill all the time. So that makes that allows you to get a much better cut. Again, almost rubbing the bevel, lift the handle to pick up the cut, and then just follow that cut on down in. Nice sharp gouge. And I'm taking a little shave, a little cut at a time. Fell off it there a little bit. Concentrate, Brian, concentrate. 
all very quiet in the chat. We're watching what you're doing. It's disturbing when it goes quiet. <laughs> so now I need to come from the other side to change hands. Oh, just letting the star of the show shine through. Oh, thanks, Mark. <clears throat> Since you're so referencing... Sorry, Brian. Okay. Since so what, so what is said... saying, it's not a question, but his, but his wife loves the accent, Brian. The accent? So what it said say about the accent, let me just read that. Can I just read that? Where is it? I can't see it on my chat. <coughs> what does said actually say? It's he a, likes the it's accent. Not a question. Yeah, loves it. Oh, so my His accent. Wife is, loves the accent. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, said the wife. <laughs> I had uh, I had really good fun when I was in America, um, on a course thing. Uh, with the girls and stuff on, of course, they kind of love my accent too. So, they had me saying silly things like cheeseburger and curly whirly, cuddly whirly, and yes, oh, yeah. that miata. Oh, that kind of stuff, yeah. Ben well, Jamin was... is suggesting Ben Jamin is suggesting you talk dirty to Sid's wife. No, Sid. Ben. 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 <laughs> Behave yourself, or you'll be in timeout. Ruby Claire says she hangs her chuckies on magnets near the headstock That's on a the good lane, plan. saves looking. That's a good plan, Ruby. I'm going to show you where mine hangs. Just wait a minute. I've, I've, right I've, I've got one of those. I've got one of those magnetic trays. It yes, sits on the top of the headstock. If I just, uh, I just lift that up. There's where it's supposed to hang. Look right there. So it's just a matter of lifting it and using it. But I didn't put it there. <laughs> The idea. trouble is you've got, you've got to put it back where you, where you need it, where you get it from. Terry Barr oh, said earlier it was a senior moment. That Woodward just was Paul, a senior moment. Woodward Paul's got his new lathe. Oh, He's gone for the what? Stratus FU-230. Very nice. Ooh. Well done, Paul. That's the same as Ed Oliver's got. Mm. That is a nice lathe. Peter, Peter Corcoran's in. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Oh, there we go. That's kind of that's, that's oh, terrible. Forty nine watching, Brian. So what you could do, of course, you could do this with a skew. What do you think, guys? Should I risk it? Yes. Have a go. go so to do it. With a could you uh, <coughs> use the overhead camera for that so we can just lift that up and try the overhead. See no what works. <laughs> no pressure. Skew. No pressure, now, Brian. It's there now. No pressure. Skew. So we'll lift the uh, tool rest up just a little bit further. And we're just going to try and bring us into the middle and see what happens. See if we can get a nice finishing cut with the skew. Is everybody else in chat holding their breath? I am. Possibly. Yeah, I think they've all switched it to I black. Am. I'll offer there a little Hi, bit. Douglas. There you go. Look at that. Just, look. just into the middle, just there. And now we we'll have to try and do it on the other side. Christina, Michael, Hesseltine are in. Hi. Hi, Christina, Michael. So I just rub the bevel. Gently pick up the cut. And bring it in. That's lost the cut there. So pick up the cut again. And just bring that right into the middle. Ta da! A little oh, ridge in the middle. We'll just try and get rid of that little ridge. What's the knack with there we using go. the skew? Keep the bevel rubbing. Keep, keep, keep the, the bevel, bevel rubbing. Bevel rubbing. rubbing and bottom third of the blade. So you get some nice little shavings like this when you're using the skew. Mm. Just tiny little shavings. And make so, sure it's sharp. Yeah, yeah, make sure it's sharp. Razor sharp. I'm not going to push my luck with the skew, guys, so I'm going to go back to my bowl gauge and just around <laughs> this edge off a little bit more. 
Well done. <laughs> you, you massive chicken. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He had to first. Go can't say that. He's braver than me, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, so I've been practicing a lot bit with the skew, but I'm just, uh, I'm not really confident, so we just tried a little bit just for fun there. Yeah. So I'm just going to start this up now, practice. guys, so pop on Robert my... Uh, Robertson. Robert oh, Robertson, in his, and he says practice. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. That's it, Robo. I've been now. Robert's I have been, been from the start. Robo. Robo's been in from the start, yep. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, yeah, put that heat on. So, so I've been practicing, Robo. Just so as you know that I've been practicing. Look, I've been making lots of these. That, oh, wrong Diggers. way. Terry, show me how to make these. These are all done Diggers. with the skew. So I'm using that as my skew practice. Diggers. I've got about a dozen. I've got, I've got about a dozen in that box. So I have been doing some practice. Thanks. Right, Sandy. Let's quickly just because that's the shape, basic shape. So we'll quickly sand this up, hang that speed down a little bit. I'm not going to be singing, am I? Well, you are. Okay. Uh, I've been practicing. This should be a nice piece of timber because it's, uh, it's sweet chestnut, so it should be okay. What was that? And I really want to finish this. Um, however, it's going to be finished before I start to hollow it. Are you hearing things again, Joe? You said that so quietly, Mark. What did you say? Did I? Did I tell really? I can't remember now. I don't think Mark said anything. I didn't hear it. I, I didn't think I said anything. <laughs> oh, come on, Brian. Don't let me down now. <laughs> so this is a little Simon Hope um, inertia sander. If you haven't seen one before, I'm sure everybody has now. Brilliant back here. Robert's asking, can you do those dippers in four minutes each yet? <laughs> yes, trouble. Yeah, can I? If I edit the other half an hour out of it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can. Not yet, not yet Robo. I, I can, Robo. Pete, Pete, maybe get from six minutes down to four minutes. Now it usually takes me about ten minutes or so, but we'll get it. We'll get it quicker. It's all right for the production, well, you know. Woodwind Paul has got a question for you. He says, yep. what do you put on your bedways to stop them rusting and to keep them clean, please? I'll show you that. So I happen to have a tin handy. This is what I use. Parkside PTFP spray. 2 or 10 From Lidl. Is this the one that's at Lidl? Yep, yeah. from Lidl, yep. You see that? Is that the right way up, please? Not there. So that's what I use. And the last time we were on an author on Lidl two weeks ago, my wife bought six tins of it. So that should last me for a day or two. <laughs> it's excellent. Absolutely not a thing wrong with it. Just because it comes from Lidl. It'll be the same stuff. It goes into everybody else's, I'm sure. That's what I use. Probably comes, from, yeah. here. Probably comes from the same factory. Uh, so that was 120 grit there, guys. Quick that up to 240. Yeah, I think this is quite a nice piece of wood, so we'll not, I don't think we'll colour this. We'll make colour the inside. Fred Gilliver's in. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. Hello, Hi, Fred. <coughs> so that's 240 grit. I'm not going to fuss too much over this because basically, uh, guys, it's just a you know, demonstration piece. It's not like it's going to be getting sold or anything. That's nice. No tool marks, no sanding marks. Quick bit of sanding sealer. Douglas Mungham is saying something I don't understand. He says, apparently I do know what I said and it's going to cost me. Oh, the pain. <laughs> That's she, correct. She, you know, I don't even have to say she, anything uh, anymore. If, she did, if Joe didn't hear it, I didn't say it. It didn't happen. That's it. But I heard you mumble something, so remember that. 
there ain't no pictures that didn't happen. So that's quite a nice piece of wood, guys. I don't think I want the colour of that. I think I quite like that. It's nice, isn't just it? Bun right. Just bun Folks, uh, the one and one and only time that we're going to ask you to do this, if you like what Brian's doing, hit the thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, if you could consider subscribing, that would be really nice. And if you like what he's doing, consider leaving a comment in the video when this comes back up on YouTube. Brian replies to all the comments. He loves the interaction and it supports the channel. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Richard Phelan wants to know if it's hard to polish. If it's hard, but polish is beautiful. Oh, sorry. I was thinking he's answering a question from Gerard. So he was asking a question. All right, OK. I don't know what the wood he's talking about there. This is, this is quite hard. This, this is a piece of, that, actually, this piece of timber came from Richard Fuel. It's a bit of sweet it's chestnut. It's got some nice it's grain on it, hasn't it? That's probably what he's saying then. And it, it's quite hard. It's quite dusty. Um, it's, it's really dry. Yeah. Um, so now, I didn't need to put that there. We're going yeah, to hold this in. a little bit. Hi, Leona. Hi, Leona. Hello, Leona. Hello, Leona. Thanks for coming in, girl. Appreciate it. So if I can go to, I can see that. I'll just bring it up a little bit. There we go. Just going to change this stem drive to a, put that in the right box. The one with the label that says drives on it. And I'm going to use this little fastener bit just to hollow this out a little bit. Give us a head start. We'll bring it up to there. Quickly measure how far we need to go. So I want to hollow it out to about 70 mil. Yeah, maybe slightly less than that. 65 mil maybe would be better. So there's a little bit of weight left in the bottom. So 65 mil just takes me right to the edge of the jaws that's holding that. So that'll be easy. No need to draw lines on it or anything. Turn the lace speed down to about 500 again. And if I change that camera to that. See, will that work? Yeah, that worked, didn't it? Well, Back to that again. Back to that. And go to that again, try it this time. There we go. <coughs> I have no idea why that computer's doing that, guys. But So, <coughs> I hear a lot of people talking about holding the chuck. Really, you only need to hold it on the way back out. But I've just got my hand on it here, just in case it starts to spin. And it's good and sharp, so we can just keep on whining and... Do you... Uh, Do me a favor, I'm, I'm, I am thick here. I am thick here, because I'm not a wood turner. But I noticed that you're all sharp in your chisels. What happens with yep. regards to the force of it? Do you we should, sharpen, we sharpen those them as well? Too, yep. Absolutely. You, do. Can, do you that, can sharpen can you? them with a diamond card. You can actually do it with a file if you want, but you can do it with a diamond card. Sharpen the edges. Okay. Whilst you're doing that, Brian, could you could you say the words "my sweet bairn"? My wee bairn. Wait, my, my wee bairn. My wee bairn. My wee bairn. That's it. That's my wee bairn. Sid's wife is now satisfied. She's melting now, is she? She's melting. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Douglas, don't never you mind. Dare. Never mind. What is Douglas at? Keep going, Douglas. Well, he's he's going to spill the beans, I think. He thinks, he oh, thinks Mark not, said he? something. He thinks Mark said something when we know he didn't. So that's that <laughs> hollowed out, guys. Terry. Well, that's that hollowed out with the, the, the Fosner bit. So now I'm going to finish the hollowing that with my uh, Simon Hope. You need to change the camera, Brian. It's, uh, you've got the insert covering half of the... You've got the picture in picture. Now you've got the picture in picture one up. Yeah, I know, but it should be it should be all right. There we go. That better? There you go. That's better. That's better. It was because Look I moved down. that uh, because it. I moved that silly camera. Is that better now? That's it. Better. Yep. And if I bring that back to the middle again. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there we go. We're good now. So I'm going to use the Simon Hope Mini Hollower. Oh, I nearly cut my finger on it there. Okay, so shut that little thing. So this is a six mil cutter. 
And you need to be cutting right on center. So that's a lot of a high there. So we'll just drop it down a little bit. There, get rid of the tail stop. All the way onto the bed extension that I've just got. It's lovely. Don't have to, I don't have to move the, take the tail stock off anymore. How long is your life? Oh, not as long as yours, yeah. We had this discussion the other day, guys. My life, my life is only a little short thing compared to Mark's and Terry's. But do I really care? So, present the tool at 45 degrees. And just, it's a, basically it's a pull cut. So this is the stage when you're going to set the size of your tenon and mortars for the lid. So that's where my lid's going to sit, and now I'm just going to try and hold this out a bit. Come on. Leona, Leona. Is Leona being bold again? He says it's not the length that counts. <laughs> Leona. <laughs> Ruby's saying uh, only then. one camera would be better. If it was possible. All right, yeah, I can do that. Just the side one probably be better. Close up one of the side. How about that? Some extra light. Is that okay there, or? Yeah. Or would you prefer that one? That one. Better. I want to. Yeah, that's yeah, better. That's that's better. Richard Feeling's having to go. He said he'll catch you later. Let's do some work. All right, Richard. I hope you're preparing some nice blanks for me. <laughs> so I'm just kind of trying to get a nice finish cut on this on the rim already. So I don't have to come back to it. I want to just Charlie. leave it where it is now. Charlie Taylor is asking, do you prefer the Simon Hope tool? Yes, love this little tool. It's an amazing bit of kit. Um, I have the uh, I have Robert Sorby holding tools as well, but they they only have uh, well, that's not true because they actually do have um, carbides as well, but they come supplied with HSS cutters. Glenn is in. Don't she get? Hello, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Hi, darling. Oh, I He's asking if anybody's made any funnels lately. Not today. Yeah. <sighs> Not yet, Glenn. Give us a minute. Douglas is asking, I'm just going to ignore it, Glenn. Douglas is asking, um, is the tool that Brian's using able to be homemade? I suppose yes. you could. I suppose you yeah, could, you yeah. could do. Right, at the you end can buy the day. tech separately, so. At the end of the day, it's just a piece of steel. Um, I don't know what size that is. Ten mil, I think. Um, it's half inch. It's it's, it's that, that's not half inch. Sure it was thirteen mil, wasn't it? Or is that the small one? Is that the small that's one? That's ten mil. No, that's ten right. mil. That's ten mil bar. It's just tapered to an end, and then there's a screw hole being drilled into it, and the card by cutter just sits on it. Yeah, of course you could make it from a, a home if you were any good at engineering. You need to be quite precise with the drilling somebody. and stuff. So. You might know somebody, right? Mm. So it's, a, it's a really effective tool at removing wood. Now, you hear that rattling noise there? That's me kind of getting to the limit of the overhang for this tool. That's the tool by, that's the steel actually vibrating now. It's a beast, isn't it? Mm, chops really out fast. Yeah, to say how small it is, it just goes right. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm right at the very bottom of where I was, so I'm, I'm 70 mil in. Just finish off the bottom. Excuse my head if it's in your way. 
tidy up the bottom. And I'm trying, what I'm trying to do when I get that rattling noise is, it's not because I'm being a bit aggressive. So all I'm doing is closing the flute a bit. Closing the flute. Just turning my wrist anti-clockwise. I'll bring that out and show you that. So instead of the tool being, that, that would be fully open if you like, but the cutter facing upwards. Turn it to about 30 degrees or even 45 degrees. Or even less. Just to try and help with that, so you're not taking too much off. A bit like on the outside, when you're finishing, take a nearly fine cut. If you can take a really fine cut on the inside, you should get a better finish. So what I'm trying to do is follow the shape of the outside on the inside. Lynn is suggesting you might use a platform tool rest. You've got one of those, haven't you, Brian? He has. Oh, you're asking me to tell him. Stop are the you vibration. Me or are you telling me? He's just saying you might. That's what just conveying it. Tool, is it? He's he's had that one for ages, but you know what he's like. Is it this thing? Oh, he's, well, Glenn has these to collect things tools. for ages, but you know. I don't know how, like, how, how are you supposed know, to get that yeah. in there, guys? Is that what you're That's supposed it. to do there? Yeah. That's it. That's it. Put that in there. I may have cleaned that out first, eh? <laughs> been yeah. a handy, that, new. That, that, that might have been a good <laughs> idea. Brand new. You might need so, to go slightly lower, Brian, because the tool will be sitting on it and be quite high on it. Yep, I'll do that out. Make sure you don't hit the, hit the edge yeah, of the bowl. Well, I've well, torn the edge of it anyway, but I'm going to sand that back in a minute. Mm. So let's just check that it's still cutting in the middle. That's pretty good. I'll do. We'll try that now. But my head's in the way, isn't it? No. 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 Douglas is saying, Mark, is it worth me sending Doug the end to what you said? No, I wouldn't bother ever. It's nothing. It's Chinese whispers, Joe. It's Chinese whispers. Douglas heard something different. Mark said... He's a great I singer. Really He'll be singing that, the Brit so. song in a minute. Who's, whose suggestion was this tool rest again? Glenn's. Glenn's. Ah, thanks, Glenn. You're a star. It's working a treat. First time he's used it, Glenn. Why, why does it make the, it easier? Why does it because, make it easier? Because the tool is, is resting right in... Oh, that's bugger. That was sore. The tool is resting right on in there. I, I need to stop that. Right. Because, Oh, it's supported. The tool supported is actually further. supported the full length of it. So if I just bring that out, you'll see. It's not, so the not tool, overhanging it's, like the other The tool supported. It's only overhanging by that much now. Instead of being overhanging by that much. I see. I see. You get the idea? Richard the Beard 16 has yeah. joined us. Hello, well, Richard. That's a really... That's a really Hi, Rich. Well, I may, as, may as well clean that out again. Hi, Richard. Hi, Rich. Thank you for popping in, mate. Got you. Let's have a look now. Yeah, we've got a little bit just at the bottom here, just to round the curve off a little bit. So we'll go with that. Let's see, can we get that finished off? Leona's having to go. Bye, Leona. Bye, Leona. Bye, Leona. Bye, Leona. Spider Spit says he's subscribed. He just needs an interpreter now. Oh, is that right, Spider? Well done, Spider Spit. <laughs> oh, is that right now? Off hmm. the new. Oh, the cheek of him. Well done. Well, thanks Benjamin. very much for the sub, Spider. Thank you. Benjamin says, Brian, try using that tool rest with a scraper to clean the inside. Works a treat. That's a, that's a plan. We can try that too. Because I've just finished cutting now. That's it. That's a cut. That's fine. I'm 
ruining this edge here. Ah, oh, sorry, you can trim that, can you? I'll just, I'll just sand that back now and just make it right. That'd be fine. I think, because it's kind of fine, so I don't want to put the tool on it again, just break out even it? more, I think. It is, I. So we're, wall thickness is about uh, three or, yeah, three mil, roughly. Good job. So I don't want to get any fine on that. I don't even know if I want to. I think sanding will be enough. Yeah. Scraper. Yep. Uh, it's well. Got a platform rest, Ian. It's used mainly for boxes. Yep, there you go. Little platform rest. First Simple time used it. First time I've really, the second time I've used it, first time we used it, I fell off it, nearly broke it. And, uh, I did actually break the little thing I was working on. So threw it in the drawer, not to use it again, and then Glenn made me. <laughs> the thing is, is it a new tool? Is it something you've bought recently, Brian? No, no, no. It came along with the the kit when I bought all this stuff. Oh, because I bought a, a package deal, if you remember, guys. I bought uh, oh, a right. guy who was quitting. Oh, nice I paid, one. I paid eighteen hundred the beard. or everything basically. Richard the beard so, loves the smock. By the way, thanks, thanks, Richard. This is a, a one-off original. Nobody else has one, even close to it. Ian, I think so, you can get those rests from um, Axminster, Turner's Retreat. That's a record power one. Record power, and I think Sorby do them as well, I think. So I'm using this little one-inch um, head, but I didn't buy one-inch papers. I, I put the two-inch papers on, and what I do is I kind of slit, put a little slit in them. So right. you just put them on. Just put them on, and I'll show you how you do it. I'll see put it on. Can see it. Put it on there and then just take a little slit in and go all the way around. Right. And then it's, when, it, when it goes in, it kind of just tucks itself in. And the beauty of it is it's it. really good for doing undercuts. So if I just put that in there now, and you'll see it. I'm going to stop the lathe now just in a second. You'll see how it kind of. It just conforms to the lip there, see that? It just conforms right to the shape of the, the piece that you're working on. So it makes life a whole lot simpler. Oh, put that on. That would be a good plan. Ben says Sorby also do those. He has a Sorby one. Take it means to tool rest or... Yeah, they do. I. It might come as no. I don't think it does. I was going to say it might come as part of this the Sorby modular system, you know, the modular tool rest system. But I don't think it does. Don't quote me on that because I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, they dear. do. <laughs> so I'm not going to fuss too much about that, guys. I'm just going to do the inside down to 80 grip for now. I want to try and finish this edge off. So I'll just use a little bit of sandpaper. Why the woodshed says Glenn had said he'd got one, he says it's still in the box. <laughs> yeah, Glenn probably has one at the unit which is still in a box, brand new, not used. Like lots of other tools that he has. You can hear him laughing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, hear him laughing. He's in the easy, yeah, we all yeah. heard him. The other thing I've so there got we go. to ask Darling, kind of that edge up now. do you and have we a forgot platform to... tool rest? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to say something there, but I've shot up. <laughs> no, no, go oh, for I, it. No, I was thinking about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, so, a pair of those. <laughs> so I'm going to finish the outside of this now, guys. That I should have done five minutes ago. Hmm. But I'll sand the shoes inside. You. Did I you? didn't remind you. No, I didn't no. because I, it means we've got to listen to Joe sing. Oh, I see. That's not very nice, Terry. So I'm just sanding through the inside. You do realise when I'm, I'm once I've beaten Mark up, oh. you're getting it. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're next. <laughs> I'll be on holiday somewhere. So I'm very sure you used my Hoover. They have to Hoover that out first. That would have been a good plan. Surprise, is it? Surprise. <laughs> 
It's like the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. He's getting cheeky, Brian. Who, Terry? Yeah. Well, he's always it's been cheeky, like... but even more so. <laughs> I was going to say, that's not like him. <laughs> that's not like him. Do you, want me sing? Do you want me to sing? At least I don't say things under my breath. Yeah. No, I yeah. yeah. he's got there. A famine scene. Go ahead, play it. Roger Sun has answered that. Oh, <laughs> Thanks for putting that in the chat, Mark. That's the modular system in there. Good. Thank you. Gav, um, we're pretty sure that the Sorby system, modular system, does fit the Axminster toolpost because they, they use the same thread on the top. Uh, all right, okay. I think it's, it's a 10, 10. It's a 10, 10 mil thread. Yeah. It's just a 10 mil thread, I think. Glenn could so, probably confirm that, but I'm pretty sure they do. So, your regret? Oh, get ready, Joe. No, not yet. Don't, don't panic. No, not so, yet. No. your regret, and this this comes direct from the uh, from the man himself. Put your your regret on. Use plenty. Don't be don't be scamping. Um, is, Joe, is, Joe gonna, is Joe going to sing? I think so, yeah, I am, but I'm, I'm going to get told yeah. to start singing. Yeah, keep keep, keep oh, your good. headphones on. Keep your headphones on. So I've put plenty on there with the, 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 with the lace stationery. I'm going to turn my speed down to 500. That's as low as it'll go. You could go lower than that, but 500 is fine. And you're going to do this for three minutes, guys. So same piece of cloth. And we're just going to keep working the grit for three minutes. So if anybody wants to go and have a cup of tea. You want to go and have a cup of tea? Or... <laughs> Take your earphones off. Yeah. Take Get your earphones lost. off while, while Joe sings. Right, I'm going to sing. I okay. feel pity can be soft as your face. With light, With light brown, brown Yorkshire, Yorkshire gritty. gritty. There you go. Good stuff. It is. So Glenn was telling me that this stuff, uh, this the grit in it starts off. It's I think it was seventy microns. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, seventy microns, and as you work it in, it, it it degrades itself and gets down to about ten microns. I think that's what he said. So that's why you do it for three minutes to allow it to do its work properly. What is that noise? <laughs> That's Mark, Mark being Mark. <laughs> Because of my singing. That's, oh. that's somebody screaming in agony, Mark. <laughs> sorry, that's just, sorry. That's not somebody good. somebody <laughs> kept their earphones on whilst uh, Joe was singing. So, I'll tuck mine off. So three minutes sounds like a long time, guys, but it's not that not that overly <laughs> long. <laughs> Oh, I feel better now. So Glenn is reiterating, so, bang on, Brian, he's saying, so. bang on. All right, thanks, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> you can laugh just, now, just, uh, you'll just, be crying. If you want to be really, sh really shiny or really fine, you should put um, microfine. The, the grit on it. microfine grit on it afterwards. Don't you need could to use look microfine the as well. That. But it's starting to come already, so... Yeah. We're just about at three minutes now, guys. Another ten seconds to go or so. And I can actually feel the grit has, has kind of dissipated a bit. And it's starting to feel like it's much, much smoother, less gritty. <laughs> so that's enough, I think. Stop that. Clean piece of cloth now. And now the idea is just to put to buff this now. First of all, to remove the excess grit that's there, and then set the wax. That's the, the plan. So we'll see in a minute how dirty this bit of cloth is. Turn the speed up a bit. Yeah, hold well, a minute once I get the. So that's, you can see how dirty that part is, can you? I don't know, can you? Can you? Looks it? clean. Yeah. No, that's dirty. You can see a bit get, area. Get the right line. So now I'm going to turn the speed up. So we're running at about, uh, that's uh, about a thousand revs. And not a huge amount of pressure. 
Because Papa's we don't want to re we don't want to re melt the wax, we want to make sure it stays in there. Night Robo. Bye Robo. Robo. Bye Robo. One one zero one fifty PM. What time is it in Roboland? Well it's in Australia, isn't it? So it's about twelve hours. Uh, so it'll be AM, is it? Uh, yeah, one o'clock in the morning. One o'clock in the morning, yeah. Maybe, maybe something like that, yeah. So this just kind of sets the wax. That's what it does. I better get a move on here because we're... What did Clint just say? I don't know. 11. 11? Oh, it's 11 o'clock. All right. Mm. Rob was probably gone because he couldn't stand the singing, but, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Nice clean cloth now. And that should be nice. Let's have a look at that and see. Oh, I didn't say that. That looks pretty good now. You didn't have Looking very nice, actually. No sanding marks. That's so without the finish. finish. We'll just, that's without a finish, yeah. So we'll just quickly use it at the companion, if you like. Baz is in. Hi, Baz. Baz, how are you doing? A real sense sure. of things. I'm sure Sheen. Gloss finishing wax. And the secret is, don't put too much on. Returning by Barry says that Joe has left the building. She's on her way to Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> Don't speed I'm up on that. I'm not scared of Joe. She's a big pussycat, really. Yeah. That's what yeah. you say to you until the next Which time you meet her. You. <laughs> she ambushes you, Mark, <laughs> when you're not expecting it. Just, just thinking, Joe, are you going to... Uh... Be at Harrogate. I am. Well, I cancel mine. <gasps> oh no! Oh, yeah. Cancel your cancel your booking, Mark. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. change the oh. mark. Oh. I think you I might have to she might be, hot, she might be working, working on the Yorkshire Grit uh, stand, so we can between, avoid that. <laughs> between now and November, it'd be be nice to Joe Week. <laughs> I'll only start that a few days before it's. Before the show, though. No, oh, you brave soul. Short memory. There we go. <laughs> Who's got a short memory? Well, oh, Ben Jammin. Ben yeah. Jammin's got yeah. it right. Yeah. Ben Jammin's got it right. He says, ignore them, Joe. I'm sure Glyn likes, brackets, tolerates your singing. At least. Doesn't, that, that thing he does not. Oh. So now I'm just what? going to set my calipers to the size of my opening here, guys. So as I can get the lid to fit, and I just get the point so as they're just touching the outside of the opening. If you measure the inside, by the time you've measured it on your on your block of wood, and start to cut it, it'll probably be too loose. So just points just on the outside, and there. Now, Chucky, let's take this off. Part it off or not? No, no, not part it off because I'm going to use this in a minute. Um, what I want to do first though is I want to mark where it sits on the chuck so I'll use a sharpie and find between go to the overhead please work overhead there we go yeah. so jaw one jaw two and I'm just going to mark the gap and I can mark it up there too so you guys can see it a bit better just there so just so I can replace it in the, in the right place again Makes life a bit easier. Take that out, set that over there, pop this in. My tanner was actually a little bit big there um, on that, I have to say, because that gap is nearly too big. It's not forming a, pro a full circle there. So now, let's get our tool rest again. After putting it away in the drawer, John McDonald has joined us. Hi, John. Morning, John. Good morning, John. So we're just going to mark this on here now to run the lathe up. See if we get it somewhere in the middle. Left point only. Gavi, it's the mid weekend in Harrogate um, in November. I mean. 
for Harrogate. It's in November, and it's the 12th to the 14th. So I just mark that so you guys can... Oh, can't see that at all. Sure you can't. Where is my earworms today? What are they? Sleeping are, you? are you are you sleeping there, guys? No, no, we're just listening so, to what you say rather than talk So that's earlier. a month. Rather than talk over you. <laughs> and I'm going to use my bathing apartment tool again because I want this to overhang the... Uh, let me just show you this again. Back to here, quickly. I want this to overhang a little bit. See how that kind of overhangs? A little bit. Yep. So I want that to overhang. So I'm just going to use the bathing implant tool just in here. Right. Oh, yeah. And create a little recess. But I'm just going to flatten the bottom off a little bit. So it looks a little bit near. <clears throat> Taking a long time to make a box. Could have gone down the edge with the skew. That would have got a nice sharp edge. Yeah, but I don't want this edge here. I want to keep this edge. And we'll try. Oh, put it there. We'll do a little test for that. So, yes, Baz. Um, Baz is asking, do you need tickets for Harrogate? You can buy yes. them in France. I think they're ten pound in advance, or twelve pound on the day. So when I'm uh, doing this, this is a Mike Walt trick, a Mike Walt tip. Um, I'll show you in a second. I think I've just taken too much of it, but it doesn't need to be a tight fit anyway. So when I put this in here, I, I hook it on at the bottom, and then bring it up to the top. That's actually perfect. That's a uh, Emma trick. Emma did that the other day. Yeah, I, uh, Mike. What I think I got that from a video from Mike Walt. Some when I first started. I think Mike. She might have got it from Mike it. as well. Yeah. yeah. So that that was Mike that I seen demonstrating it. So uh, I always kind of credit the people I've seen doing it. So I'm just go make this recess a little bit bigger. Cornage Dubois just joined us. Hi, Daniel. Good afternoon, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Nice to see you, mate. How's the workshop coming along? Yeah, Daniel's on a nice workshop, mid. Mm. Right, so that's that. It's a little bit loose, but that's exactly how oh, I want it. I don't want a tight fit. That'll be perfect. Now, next thing. Bring the tailstock back into operation. Uh, There's three kinds of fits for lid boxes, isn't there? There's a wood turner's fit, which goes pop when you take the lid off. There's a ladies' fit, as described by Jimmy Clues, which means that they can just lift the lid off gently to place their diamond earrings inside. And then there's <laughs> a French fit, which is too loose. So I'm just going to start shaping the, the, the lid. As is I'm to leave. Some of these cuts will be quite oh, aggressive. See you later, Baz. Because I just need to lose a lot of timber here. Bye, Baz. And that's kind of why, why it's in the chuck at this end and being supported at that end. Same principles apply all the time, guys. Cutting downhill. You might want to go to the overhead when you do the finial, Brian. Oh, yeah, I can't. Oh, I'll go down now. Just... There we go. Okay. So so it... Turn the speed up a little bit, I think. There we go. Okay. Speed's better when you're down. Um, when you're doing uh, spindle turning, um, you got a better cut with a bit more speed. I was going to say speed is your friend, but I'm yeah. just getting in yeah. trouble. 
some, maybe. some, <laughs> yeah, it depends what you're, it's your friend when you're turning a spindle, but maybe not when you're turning a great big lump of, of a bowl or something. So just there, I'm kind of cutting up hill a wee bit. So we'll just make a few sort of incisions in there. Now, I want to try and replicate the curve here. Um, so, if I could go to this camera, please work. Yeah, what do you think? I'll just try that again, guys. There you go. Why does it do it the second time and not the first time? So what I want to show you is what's happening here. I bet you've got a spider so in the works. I'm kind of setting myself up here. I'm holding the tool here. Set myself up, pick up the cut, and I'm just going to shift my weight from my right foot to my left foot. And rotate my wrist, my right wrist anti-clockwise, and just bring that in a bit. Too much of a cut there, so take some of that away. So I'm, I'm using my body to control the tool rather than trying to do it by hand. Good. Good way of showing that, Brian. Thanks, Matt. So I just I'll, I'll come I've got this um what do you call that thing? The outrigger thing sticking out here, so I maybe have to think about how I can change that. So just there, pick up the cup and just rotate a little bit. And that should bring that round. That's kind of that's kind of nice shape there. And I'm just going to take a little tiny shear cut. So I'm rubbing the side bevel, pick up a cut, and just a tiny little. I'm just taking tiny little bits of shavings off of there. There we go. That should be good. So look at that. Back to the old red. Radar, the wood turners in. Hi, radar. Hello, radar. radar. Go back to the overhead for you. David Eisenhower is in as well. Oh, come on, overhead. Hi, Red Hi, Red David. Resonant is, with this, with creations. Um, Gab's asking for a link mark for the Harrogate show. Would you be able to do yeah, that? I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. There we go. So, can I try and get... Just get rid of some more timber here. Bring this corner around again more. There we go. So I'll just take that from there. Bring that cut all the way around. And that'll do for that. At this stage, you could be deciding what kind of what kind of fiddle you want. So, so we'll just do a little thistle finial. or a thistle. Not so much a finial as a it's just a knob on the top, basically, to be able to hold it with. You were trying to be posh there, weren't you, Brian, by saying it was a thistle? No, it's going to be, no, it's going to be a thistle. So you can see the outline, the th sort of thistle shape starting to happen there. Doesn't need to be as big as that. 
But I'm going to change this round again in a minute. So as I can finish the lid. I'll do that. And just take that down a little bit more. So I've used it in between the set between centers, if you like, um, so as I can have more control uh, over what the timber does, and it's quite st stable and um, secure there. So that should do. I'll do. Now we're going to re reverse mount this now. Take that off. And again, Morning, David. I'm doing the wrong place. Hi, David. Put that back in. Where was the mark? There's a nice black mark. One and two, just there. Get that back in the right place. So as it gets in there, you can you can actually see that it's starting to fit into the groove where it was. There we go. That's nice. Pop this back on here. Bring up my tailstock again, just for a minute, just to hold it. Now, because that's quite a loose fit, I'm going to go tape it on. So tape from underneath. And rotate the tape towards myself. Oops. And that should be enough to hold that in place until I remove this. So I'm just going to turn this away now. A little squeeze up. Lock that off. Lock that off. Turn that on. Let's remove this now. So I hope you can see this, the same principles apply again. I'm cutting downhill all the time. Now you, now you really start to see the thistle shape start to take shape. I'm on the right camera, aren't you, yeah? The trick now is to get it to the the, uh, the size that you want. Now I could leave it like that, have a huge big thistle, but I don't think that would suit the piece. Now, whenever when everybody does this. Everybody has a, a favourite side. You, you can get a nice round on one side and not so good on the other side. Well, that's what I find anyway. So I'm just rotating my wrist and leaning forward to try and get that nice cut there. Ruby Claire says uh, she's going to have to use a Turner's fit because she doesn't have any diamonds. <laughs> All right, that's okay, Ruby. Brian, I send you one, Ruby. Don't worry. Ha hashtag diamonds for Ruby. <laughs> don't forget, you got to sand that under the tape before you finish off the other end. So I have, Terry. Thank you for that. I'm just trying to make this smaller. I have indeed got to sand that. I should have done that already, Terry, shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. But it keeps me done. Oh, yeah. I think that's a nice ball shape there. So if I have to sand that, I better stop now and take this tape back off again. It should sit there. 
and we'll just sand this and kind of give it a bit of a finish and then we can finish the end. Uh, a little bit of there we go. Right away. Just give that a little bit of a sand. Oops. Have to go easy because it's not very good tight fit. Screw that up a little bit more. Don't screw it up too hard there, it cracks. You have to stop before you hear the first crack. <laughs> yep, once you hear the crack, it's too late. I wonder where, uh, I wonder if that's where the Irish expression, um, uh, the crack comes from. <laughs> <coughs> I can hear all sorts of noises happening here. Thankfully, my microphone's got good uh, noise suppression, so you'll not hear it. <laughs> we'll only notice it when it flies. Yeah, yeah. No, I, think that's I think you're all right, Brian. <laughs> once, it pops, okay. once it pops off, you'll know. Yeah, you'll be fine. 120. Two forty. Might be better when they strike the run. Gerard, the French turners having to leave. Bye, Gerard. Bye, Gerard. Bye, Gerard. Bye, Gerard. Bye, Gerard. I think I'll just leave that the other way it is. And we'll make that a bit shorter, that's all. There we go. Stop the lathe. Sanding seal up. Cooking on gas. Which is over here. A little bit of sanding seal on there. You're going to use Yorkshire grit on the lid as well. I am, unfortunately, yeah. What do you mean, unfortunately? Of course I'm going to use it. It's it's, it's the best sanding medium I've, I've got. Time to well, uh, it's ta make a cup time of tea. Time for singing. Mark. Time to make a cup of tea. I like did you hear, Did you hear Joe say something, Mark? So I'm just burnishing that just for a second. That'll do. <laughs> He's so terrible, you guys. <laughs> yeah, leave poor Joe alone. Better your sure grip on the stationery. Hear that creak in there? Could be the arthritis. Could be my arthritis, is right? <laughs> you can make these lids any shape you want, obviously, guys. Please yourself, you know. And your lids. And your finial, or a little knob for lifting it off. Let's go far too fast. Slow that down a bit. That might be better. It's a nice piece of wood, this. It's kind of it's sanding and stuff easy, so. There we go. That'll do. We'll go with that. Clean piece of cloth. Speed it up. There we go. It's nice and clean. No issue. Then a little bit of Hampshire sheen. Hampshire sheen can be applied uh, when the waist spinning too. Doesn't really matter. Although Martin always stops to apply it. Don't punish up too quick. A bit of speed. Did you, did you use the Yorkshire grid? Yeah. Joe didn't sing. No. No, I put it Not on Mark. Oh, so Mark was supposed to sing. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> you'll be, <laughs> oh, what? You'll be, here, you'll be getting your P45 mark <laughs> again. <laughs> I was waiting for Jared to say so I could play that. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, that well, backfired, that, that, didn't it? That backfired badly, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. <laughs> so, how's everybody in the chat doing? They're all well, fine. Are, are they all? Are they all still here? Is anybody left? There's nobody here now. Is there well, one left? Brian's Wood see. Creations and uh, Radar are having to leave. So, all right. Uh, they're saying goodbye. All right, guys. So. Yeah, they left just before Joe was supposed to sing. I think they. Ah, oh, that's what it was. They mind. took off. <laughs> oh, thought better of it, didn't they? Right, so Shoot we've just got mouth, to finish Terry. this one, Neil. Oh, this, this <laughs> handle. Oh, we'll make this a whole lot smaller now. And we'll just hand sand the top of it, I think. So that looks about right there. Oh. Nice gentle oh. cut. Just there. We should be. We should be okay. Just taking a slight, gentle cut, just to get it to go in. And before I go too far. I just want to make sure this is rounded off a bit on the top here. Just like that. And try and take that all the way in there. And I'm just going to let that cut in through there until it stops turning. There we go. Take that off. Give that a quick little bit of sand. <sighs> a little bit of sanding sealer that was on the cloth already. A little bit of Yorkshire grit that was on the cloth. <coughs> For hands that feel pretty can be soft as your face. With light brown, Yorkshire gritty. Ooh, very good, Mark. <laughs> That's your P45 rescinded again. That's okay. <laughs> now, technically, I should stand here for three minutes, guys, but I'm not going to do this time. I'll finish this off again later. But it should be three minutes. <laughs> He's Just like to make sure you get the grit time to plenty of time to work. <laughs> and I'll just buff that back off. The shell's oh, hurt. the shell's back. There's oh, no. Tea, tea and a twirl outside. No, never. Oh. This is getting this. This is getting to be a habit. Wait a minute, guys. I'll have to go and retrieve my tea and just give me a second. Tea and a twirl. <sighs> Cup of tea, twirl. It's far too good to me. It's in, it's in my Santa Claus mug, too. I'll just buff this off now. That'll do. Basically, we're just about done, guys. So throw that over there, push that out the way, give that lathe a bit of clean down. What are you laughing at, Mark? Glenn said something in the oh. chat. Shit, I'm not finished at all. I have to cut this off to part this off yet. Can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. You're going to part it off, take the lid off. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to get the tape off. Oh, that was quite a good fit there. <laughs> Lid off. Michelle's in, looking, look out. 
Tea's outside uh, the door with the twirl. I've got, I've got the tea. Did you? Are I you be sleeping? Tea. Where were you? Uh, I had a, had a How quick far phone behind phone. are you? Had a quick phone. Where's he just come up here? Mine's system's running slow. Joe going to sing Yorkshire Grit yet? I've already sung it. Uh, <laughs> I'm for that. Catch up, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear Glyn falling off his perch. So that's that. Stop that. Undo this. <laughs> was, that, was, that, was that Glenn or the parrot? Glenn. Well, they both sound the same anyway. <laughs> There's not much difference. <laughs> I'm just putting my chuck in here for a second, guys. If I can get this thing to work. There we go. What was that? Just to sand the bottom of this. With a force in a bit. It's taking forever, guys, to make a box. Yeah, I'm going to sign it with a force in a bit. Good plan, Terry. Wrong way. Personally, I blame Joe for taking yeah. so long to sing. Joe thought, was it Joe's fault? Yeah, Joe's fault. So it's just, it's just my novice turning, oh, guys. That's all it is. The song was too long. Just my novice it's turning. Singing forever. So we just go sign the bottom of this now. Just to show you how, how, how it can be done. I'm not going to sand it all because I'll do it later. We've been going for an hour and a half now, nearly anyway, so nearly too long. No need for punchy tools. So there we go, that's the kind of, that's the flat, that'll do. Just leave that on there for a minute. Get rid of that. Bottom that back up there. Switch that off. Where the said lid? See, oh, it's covered in dust now. <coughs> Ruby says she really likes the idea of the thistle finial. All right. Yes. Good. Thanks, Ruby. She she said thistle do. Thistle thistle do. Thistle do. Thistle do. Oh. Just trying. I'm just trying to line up the grain here a wee bit. There we go. Now, if I can just change cameras there to that. Ah, oh, work. Michelle's um, put a comment in the chat. Never, not Michelle. You too. <laughs> you too. You too. <laughs> That's your fault, Mark. He's got lots of new tools, Michelle. But so there we go, guys. We'll list there's them the for little, you. There's a the little pot we've made today. That's great. Oh, I love nice, that. Brian. Very, nice very little nice. Pot. Nice little funnel. Yeah. Needs a little bit more finish on the inside. A little bit more finish on the bottom. But it's not quite it's not quite loose right. So it's no it isn't. And then these are these are ones I did a little bit earlier just as a bit of a practice. I made this one, which has got a lot a lot looser fit and it has a stepped collar rather than just a rounded over collar. So these are just design implications obviously. And that's the one I did this morning, but just a bit of a fence post. <laughs> <laughs> or a bit of a pallet, sorry, nail holes included. And that's got a real um, fit. So there we go, guys. Yeah. That's it. The uh, the grain that matches too. up, runs over the edge and then down the side, matches up nicely. Mm. There we are. Let me bring my earworms back in again. Oh, yeah, where did I do that? Oh, I there. There you go. Welcome back, well guys. Done. Thank you very much for your work today. Nice to be back. And I'll put myself on here. Ta da! Dazzle us all. Dazzle us <laughs> all. all. Pleasure. There you go, guys. Thank you very much for uh, taking the time to watch an old idiot turn this little box. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> it took me a while. Engli English subtitles will be in the replay. English, yeah. The English subtitles will be in the replay from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You less of your cheek, Terry boy. <laughs> so, anybody that's, that's, got any questions or anything? Your... What I want to do now is I just want to get Mark to give us a heads up on who's coming tonight and tomorrow. 
Um, okay. Go, Mark. So, tonight is Keith, Circular Wood by Keith at upper seven. Tomorrow lunchtime will be Wayne the Wood Turner at one o'clock. You've got um, Ruben Woodcraft will have a premiere tomorrow evening. Nick Flame Internal will have a premiere. Steve from SK Crafts with special guest um, Stuart Farini yep, that will be, be on tomorrow night at 7.45. And I will put the link in for that as I uh, keep talking. Um, keep talking, keep talking. Stace will have a live, uh, live tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Uh, Scott Blue Light Turner will be on Saturday lunchtime after Ed Oliver, who's on at 10 o'clock Saturday morning. And probably Emma, the Tiny Turner, will be on Saturday night. And then you've got SK Grouse on Sunday with the Nikki show. Yep. And Hodgepodge uh, goes live at 2 o'clock. Doug, eh? Doug Mother has just said, don't forget Rich's in bed. Has Rich gone in bed tonight? Oh, yes, Rich has got an event tonight yes. after Keith. Uh, yes, um, very good invite tonight. Wheelchair with Turner. Oh, that's worth watching because you could learn how to turn them sitting down. That's maybe not a bad thing for us. So, for that us old guys with the bad bikes. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, indeed. So, there you go, guys. That's us finished for today. Um, an hour and a half. Oh, my God. Why a lot of good comments, there? Brian coming in yeah thanks Thank guys i uh, really do appreciate everybody coming in on the uh, comments um so let's wind it up thanks very much yep. for watching guys and go bye. press the button now. bye everybody thanks the for being here bye guys bye everybody appreciate it